Good morning. Welcome to Ridge Life. I'm Tim, and today on Ramblings, I'm on the road. That's right. Having some work life coffee. Thank you very much. Ah, night shift. Good stuff. Um, I have been all over the place this morning. It is what? Not even 10 o'clock this morning. I am all over. Got up this morning, uh, I think about 6 o'clock. Got ready and headed to Memphis. That's right. Unfortunately, I had to go to the big city of Memphis. And where I had to go in Memphis was not a good area either. Never been there before. Uh, it was on a, a road called Farmville Road. I said, hey, that, that, maybe it'd be outside of Memphis in a nice, beautiful, uh, scenic country area. Nope. Not a country area. Not scenic. Not outside of Memphis. So, I went to uh, Titan Attachments Memphis Warehouse. Started off there. And uh, I found it and a huge warehouse complex is, you know, in a really bad area. I'm talking really bad. It, it, I'm trying to see, how can I say this? There were on every street corner, uh, it was early in the morning, right? You know, before about, before eight o'clock. On every street corner, there were uh, people standing in line to get picked up to go to uh, uh, jobs. You know, like, I need you, I need you, I need you, I need you. And then, on every other street corner, there will be a barred up window place uh, uh, selling uh, chicken and Hennessy. Um, don't know how chicken and Hennessy go together, but, um, yeah, it was a pretty rough place. Pretty rough place. I mean, bars on the... There were bars on everything. I mean, not just the bars on the on the convenience store windows and doors and stuff. I mean, everything had bars and went and just the sides of the guys. You get spoiled living out in the country. I'm telling you right now. Now I'm in the beast, towing a 20 foot equipment trailer and uh, driving around urban Memphis. You know, I'm I'm first to tell you I'm not an expert tower of 20 foot equipment trailer. This is the largest trailer I've ever had, 20 foot. Uh, I've had a four, I had a 14 foot and I've had that one for a while. 14 foot's definitely different than a uh, tandem axle 20 foot uh, equipment trailer. Woo! So driving it in uh, urban Memphis with terrible roads and uh, really narrow intersections, uh, kind of get you, kind of get you puckering up a little bit. Kind of get you puckering up a little bit. But I made it to the warehouse, and um, I drove down. You know, the GPS said, you know, go down this uh, alleyway. So I went down this alleyway, and I found all the loading docks and all that. And I went in there, and uh, I found a gentleman that was on a fork truck, and he said, "Oh no, you, you got to go to the front office." And I said, "Well, okay, I didn't get my, I didn't know that." So he talked me up. He took me up to the front office, and, uh, and then we went to try to find my order. And uh, being how I order it, you know, through an affiliate, you know, for, for the, you know, the way I'm doing to help, you know, helping out Titan Attachments and everything, I didn't have an order number, blah, blah, you know, all that kind of stuff. Maybe eventually we, we uh, well, actually, he uh, called somebody and said, hey, uh, you know, we're looking this up. And he said, oh, you mean the auger is sitting right out here? <laughs> hey, I went and looked at it. It's got my name on it. All right, all right. But it was just the uh, three-point attachment. It didn't actually have the auger on it. And I was expecting the uh, the three-point, uh, uh, sixty-horsepower three-point auger, uh, and on and auger to be at this location. Then I had to go to the other location for the other item. But no, it was just the uh, three-point attachment auger, not the actual bit auger bit, the nine-inch auger bit. So it got me all loaded up there, and I got it all strapped down, and then I put it in the GPS to Horn Lake, Mississippi. That's right, guys. I'm multi-stating today, and uh, so I had to, you know, get out of that area. Uh, I guess it, I guess you kind of say it's northeast of Memphis. It's I mean it was it was it was it, right now it was actually in, it was right in Memphis, just on the north north side. If you ever been to the north side of Memphis, actually there is no good side. North, south, east, west, it's 
it's, it's, it's not good. It's not good. And if you're from Memphis and you're from that area, I apologize. Not because uh, I apologize for saying bad things about Memphis. I, I apologize because you live in Memphis. Oh, so sorry. So sorry. Um, so I got my GPS uh, coordinates in. I started heading down to Horn Lake, Mississippi. And luckily, this was a lot less um, uh, condensed. It was still pretty. It's basically Memphis South. Uh, Memphis has gone down into South Haven and Horn Lake, and it's it it is it, crossed the state line. Mem it's Memphis, Mississippi, pretty much Memphis, Mississippi. Do you live in Memphis, Memphis, Mississippi? Well, if you live in South Haven or Horn Lake, you kind of do. Um, but it was a lot more. Exp open, expansive and stuff. So I, I drove through there and um, pretty much same restaurants, same convenience stores and everything, just a, a few less, a few less bar, you know, bars on the windows and stuff. Um, a lot more uh, Mexican restaurants than, uh, than uh, chicken and wings. And actually, no, I saw a lot of chicken and wings. I saw, matter of fact, I saw a lot of chicken and wings in South Haven in Horn Lake. I take that back. I take that back. Almost every every intersection I went through, it was a Mexican restaurant and a uh, wings and things, a chicken wings place. And then the next one was a you know a Circle K, then a Mexican restaurant. And then I'm not kidding, guys. Yeah, you, you think I'm being I'm being judgmental or whatever? I am observing. Okay, this is an observation. Uh, but there are some good barbecue places down there. Ooh, they have a, a place right on the interstate on uh, 302 on Goodman. I think it's 302. Um, Memphis Barbecue. And Memphis Barbecue Company, uh, they have these uh, fried cheese fritters. They are so delicious. I didn't go there today. It's too early in the morning. You know. But ch fried cheese fritters. And the barbecue is amazing, too. Memphis Barbecue Company. If you're ever in South Haven, Mississippi, basically Memphis South. If you're ever in Memphis South, go to uh, Memphis Barbecue Company. You, you won't. Now, if you're in Memphis, actually, uh, I recommend... Uh, Blue City Cafe, uh, Rendezvous, those are all downtown places. One's on uh, Beale Street, the other one's on Union, I believe. Uh, both those are really good Memphis-style barbecue. Good stuff, good stuff. Of course, Corky's, Sonny's, or Sonny's down uh, more down in Florida, but Corky's, that's pretty good too. But I digress. Mm, Work-life coffee, good stuff. Um, so I, I found the, the, the warehouse there and I uh, met, a, met a gentleman, because I'm getting there right when they're opening and stuff, right? Met a gentleman that uh, was loading up some ice and stuff and a cooler, and he said, I was like, happy Friday! <laughs> he had some big plans for Friday. He was limping too, and I said, you have a knee, surg or knee surgery? And he says, no, I've been putting it off. He said, my dad just had it. He said, surgery wasn't too bad, but the PT's killing him. I said, I know what your dad's going through. Them uh, PT ladies will tear you up. I am so sore from this week's PT. Um, not because the injury or the uh, surgery, but just because the the, 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 the the muscles and the tendons, they're stretching me and, and making me lift and do lunges and all kinds of, but, but it's working, it's helping. It's really, really, definitely really, really helping. Of course, the work I'm doing, in, in addition to the PT, it, it, it you know, it's whew, good stuff. Um, so he, I give him my order thing, he, 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 he couldn't find it. Uh, in the system, I guess it was just the way we ordered it. You know, I'm, I'm, an, I'm an affiliate, and it didn't go through the regular ordering system. But anyway, uh, we walked through the warehouse, and sure enough, there was a pallet right there, and that pallet had the uh, uh, standard fork attachment base and 48-inch forks, and it had my 9-inch auger on it. Woohoo! So he said, "All right, back your truck in over here and everything." So I went and got my truck and. I backed it up, backed it up his ramp and everything, and he got it loaded on there and pushed it on, and then I uh, got it strapped down and uh, commenced to uh, heading out of Horn Lake, Mississippi. Well, I pulled into a convenience store to get me a little bit of that diesel, diesel fuel. Guys, diesel uh, in, in Mississippi, North Mississippi, $2.92 a gallon. Um, Gasoline is like 264 a gallon in, in North Mississippi. That's right, 264. Uh, in Tennessee, it's a little bit more than that. That's right. Um, 
Now, your milk may still be $12 a gallon and a loaf of bread, $5 a loaf and, you know, bacon, oh my gosh, don't, you know, you gotta take a, mortgage, a second mortgage out to buy you some bacon, but they got the fuel prices down at least. I guess that's uh, elections coming up and they gotta, they gotta do something, but they sure ain't got them food prices down, have they? Oh my goodness. Food prices tear you up. Work life coffee though is not too bad. Get you a big old bag of this, about 15 bucks, I think. Mm, good stuff. Work life coffee. Go check it out. Link down in the description. Tell them Ridge Life sent you. Um. So um, pick that up. Got you know, got get got fuel. Check my load. Make sure my straps and everything were still good on there. And uh, but the the, the restaurant, uh, the restaurant, the uh, gas station I went to. Oh my goodness. Um. You ever seen self checkout at a convenience store? Yeah, they had self checkout, and it was you can't get cert you can't get service in Memphis, in South Memphis, or East Memphis, or West Memphis, or yeah, it, it, you can't get service. You can't get people to talk to you. Can't get people to smile at you. Can't get people to just say hello. First pump I pulled up to wasn't working. I had to back the trailer up at a gas station in a, in, a, in an urban environment, and. Uh, so then I got to the second, you know, backed up to the other pump and started pumping it. And it was pumping like, like a dollar every, a, I mean, a gallon every five minutes. <laughs> a gallon every five minutes. It took like, oh my gosh. I don't even know if I filled it all the way up. I, I went and got, got, you know, uh, went inside and uh, used the restroom, came back out. And uh, yeah, so. Got my fuel, got back on the road, and now I'm on 302 heading east. And this road, uh, Miss, this northern Mississippi area is kind of flat. It, you know, there's no, there's not too many hills yet until you get over towards where I'm at in West Tennessee. But uh, so I'm just, it's like 20 miles, 20, actually it was 23 miles straight before I get on 269. 23 miles straight. I don't think there's a single curve. Uh, but these fuel prices are cheaper. So when I get home, I'm going to upload this course, get this out to you, and uh, then I'm going to get old blue, and uh, I'm going to pull this uh, pallet fork attachment uh, towards the end of the trailer, get old blue, get that pallet fork attachment on old blue, and then I'm going to use that, I'm going to pull off the uh, auger, it's in a metal framed pallet, use the pallet fork attachments on my first pallet today. Get that off there. Show, you know, let old Blue see her new toys, her, you know, her treats. You're gonna treat her right. Gonna give her some, give her some bling bling. Get her some bling. And then, no and then, and then, no and then. What movie is that from? And then, <laughs> oh, Tim's a crazy guy. Um, so then, and then, uh, if it all works out right, if the weather plays with me, I do see it, like maybe a little rain in the distance. Um, I'm going to see if I can load up Old Blue on the back of this 20-foot equipment trailer, get her all strapped down, and maybe take her in for a makeover. Mm -hmm. She got almost 400 hours on her, and uh, she needs facelift you know if you know what I'm saying gonna get her uh, differential fluids changed get her hydrostatic transmission fluid changed get out get all the the inner inner filters outer filters all the you know the things you don't normally do uh oh here comes the popo popo's after somebody popo ain't after me I'm going slow um, but uh, if I can get her loaded up, strapped down, and everything, I might end up taking her up to the New Holland dealership and uh, get all that service done, and then maybe get her a backhoe attachment put on. They had to order it. Uh, they wanted to see what the model, you know, the serial number was on mine and how my uh, rear hydraulics were all set up and everything. Make sure uh, they got all the stuff on it before they order, ordered it. But I may end up bringing her back home with a backhoe. Now, I talked to David this morning. He said, you ain't going to believe how much more power 
you got to push trees over and do all that without all that weight on the back. And I actually believe he said, with the with the with the size tires you got and all the uh, the liquid you have in your tires plus a backhoe, you may be more powerful than Uber. I'm pretty sure I heard him say that. You, you can go ask him. Said Tim said uh, you said uh, when he gets his backhoe attachment on there, he'll be and 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 and, and correct pallet fork attachment. He said that. Uh, you said that Old Blue will be more powerful than Uber. I'm, I'm pretty sure that that's what I heard him say. I, that I'm almost, almost positive. I heard him say, way more power than Old Blue. I've already got more horsepower. Actually, I got more horsepower. He does have like, um, I think, 50 pounds more lifting capacity, but uh, mine's taller, better looking, um, more powerful, um, and with a backhoe attachment, be just as capable. Even more capable. Definitely better looking. <laughs> oh man, so funny, so funny. Um, had a good day yesterday with Titan attachments out there. That was fun. Um, hope to be doing more with them soon. I got these two attachments, and I'll uh, I'll be using the post hole digger uh, on uh, not the solar carport. A lot of y'all were saying uh, yesterday my. Uh, uh, footer video where I dug the footers came out and a lot of y'all are saying you should have used a post hole digger a uh, three point post hole digger on your tractor well I didn't have one for one thing and um, I need very precise uh, it's very hard to be precise with these these are really good for fence posts right where you don't have to be within a quarter of an inch but uh, I am going to be using it for a new project uh, coming up and uh, it is going to be uh, a very very uh, awesome thing you'll see you'll be seeing it uh, very soon um, probably after I get the concrete poured for the, the solar carport while that's curing I'll probably move over to this project and then come back to that I got so many things you're gonna be enjoying to see and I'm I'm gonna be doing one step and now while that step is uh, curing the stuff I'll be doing another step and then I'll be going over to another project doing that step and then while that's you know I think you're really gonna enjoy a lot a lot of what you're coming up uh, I got a lot of things to do inside the, the, the tiny powerhouse the shed to powerhouse the pouse the poos whatever you want to call it so I think I think uh, you're gonna really enjoy what you see there and I'm just uh, super excited uh, about all these things now I do have motorcycle trip coming up with David and uh, Anthony pretty soon and uh, that's going to be exciting. Jin Jin going to be with us. I got some new things for the motorcycle to make our ride a little more comfortable. I'll be showing you that pretty soon. And uh, you'll be seeing uh, my Gremlin Bell that uh, Cully Texan, Patrick, got me. Uh, finally get to see that in a video. I'll be putting that out very soon. All right, how far, how much far do I got to go? I'm going to be getting, I'm, right, I'm going to be getting off this straight highway turning here in just a second. So I think I'll probably let you go. Um, I'll probably check the load one more time, make sure my straps are holding everything before I get out on the interstate. So guys, until next time, I hope everyone has a blessed, blessed day. Keep rambling. Go Ridgeside. Woo!